Samson going to be fourth. Fifth, yeah. Fifth. Uh, okay, so let me back it up then. Uh, yeah, I, I jammed too many cars in that motherfucking garage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. I have a, I'm going to turn this around and ask a question to the panel. Who's got a better front double bicep than Andrew Jack in that lineup? I'll ask Chris because Chris is the master of that. Whose front double bicep is better than Andrew Jack? What we just saw in Texas. Um, or a front last spread for that matter. Nah, look at that front double I bicep. Think, I think, but I think that is the X factor. The thing is, he yeah. has a lot of muscle that, as far as like, it's real busy. It's not like spread out and not so. There's lumps and bumps all over his body. And I think mm -hmm. that's what uh that's what I saw in Texas. And he's gonna be a lot more conditioned uh now. Uh yeah. yes. is, it, is, it, is it gonna be the, the is it gonna be a lot of quantity, less muscularity, but I, I think it's gonna be more muscularity uh this time around. But he's as far I, as like busy, like his body is busy with muscularity. So that's what gives him the edge. That, that is right. the so that, right there. That, that the reason I bring it up is not I'm not saying Andrew's gonna win the Olympia. What I'm saying is that can Nick Walker beat that? I mean <laughs> And if this, the answer is no, and if the answer is no, then there's a very likely chance that Nick Walker is not gonna be top three at that show. Right? Because he's not gonna beat Andrew Jack, he's not gonna beat uh Sampson and and then you got those other, you got Derek and Hottie in there who are conditioning freaks. I mean, I think Nick Walker has a, a tough chance of getting anything higher than fifth at this show. But you it's know, assuming that these guys are not way. dramatically off, that's that's yeah, all I'm saying. It's it's very much apples. You 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 you're comparing two completely. Yeah, different guys well, from yeah. The well, well, that's, that's, but that's what he's going to go up against on stage. It's completely different, man. That's what he's going up against on stage. That double front double bicep. You know, got to see him standing next to each other, man. This this is one of those I, things. That I, I got to see him next. Saying, I think he's gonna have a tough time because the lineup has gotten better. Now people come in off. We can't predict that, right? He might knock off oh, three yes. of those guys because they might be off. But I'm just saying, assuming that everyone's kind of in the best shape of their life, I think he has, even at his best, he has a tough time knocking off those four guys. And Andrew okay. Jack was off last year. Andrew Jack was off yes. last year. Right, but, but Andrew still, Jack is 20 pounds bigger than he was last year. I think he really rededicated himself to trying to be the best bodybuilder. He's not the same Andrew Jack as he was last year. He was a lot yeah, smaller he, last year. Yeah, he improved a lot, but he still plays pretty well to be off like that. He still Which is what I'm saying. I mean, uh, <laughs> I think he's going to have a tough time with these guys. That's all. These Look, guys we are always shape, say this shape freaks. We always say this in the baseline, right? And it kind of proved to be true last year. We always go into a show – making these predictions or having these analysis segments, assuming everyone's is going to be blazing on, mm -hmm. which just does not turn out to be the case, especially what it was last year. But again, Dave, I go back to last year, right after the Olympia concluded, what was the, before we went live with our final wrap up video, what was the debate? What if Nick Walker was in this line? I, I, well, I said that Nick right? Walker would have won yeah. if he was there because yeah, everyone was off so badly. So yep. I, I'm a hypocrite, but, but what I'm saying is I'm trying to <laughs> handicap the show. I'm trying to handicap the show at everyone at their best. We know that's not the case. So it, that's why predictions are very hard in bodybuilding because we're predicting based on everyone's best. And it, that's just never happens. We never see everyone's best. You know? But they will, be better than, they will be better than last year, though. Yes. These I guys so. will be better than last year. Yeah. Dave, what, you got you got throw that throw the second X-Factor in there, too. Are they having prejudging at midnight again? 
I, do the you know what? I, I'm afraid to even bring it up because I, I, I got yelled at last time because they said I was trying to clickbait everyone by complaining that they started prejudging too late. Yeah, hey, I'll say I, it right now. Hey, Dave, I'll put it on my shoulders. I'm, I am. I'm, I'll say it. I'll take the blunt right now. Are you putting prejudging on midnight again? If that's the case, they're all going to be off again. Who, who, who? Someone gave me a great idea, and I can't remember. I did so many shows this past week, podcasts. They said that, you know, in their show, what they do is, no matter, oh, 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 Fuad was telling me. Fuad, yeah. Said, no matter where they no matter start where you the are, show, gonna go. they stop right, at the 9 o'clock and, and, or 8 o'clock, and the men's pre-judging goes on, and then you finish the rest of the show. Brilliant idea. They should pick a time where it's not too late. We're, no matter where we are in the finals of women's, we're going to stop, and we're going to go to men's pre-judging. And I think that would be solve everyone's problems. No one's leaving. Everyone's going to stay to watch the rest of the show. And let's get this men's prejudging on about 8.30. I think that's perfect. So let's continue the conversation about Andrew Jack because, again, we've discussed our theoretical top four, top five. And we've also said – or we've also brought up who we could potentially make a case for for winning the Olympia. In my opinion, and again, feel free to debate, Andrew Jack could make a case to be the most dangerous man in this lineup. Because, again, what you just saw out of him in that video – that was at the Texas Pro just about a month and a half ago, weighing in before the show at 299 on the dot. I don't know exactly what a stage weight was, but as Dave said, we're talking about a man who has come in 20 pounds heavier from last season to this season. And you've seen the improvements. You've seen every part that he's brought up. It, can you make a case that, again, if not to outright win the Olympia, that's a sh potential for top three? in this lineup, given what you have, given the attributes that he brings to the stage, given the advantages that he has against some of the other competitors, some of the shorter competitors, can Kamali make a case for Andrew Jack either winning the Olympia or at the very least placing in the top three? I'm going to say what Dave says, a front double bicep, front lat spread. Um, there, there's, there could be an argument for the back double bicep, the abdominal thigh shot. He's in there. He's definitely in there. And from the conversations, the text messages that I've been having with him back and forth, he knows, he understands that he needs to come in shredded. But can Aceto keep him full so we can see that 20 pounds? It's visible. If he can show us those 20 pounds with the striated glutes, He's going to be right the fuck in there. Does he have striated glutes? He does. That's what, that's the, that's the, the, the million dollar question. He had him last year. No, he had him last year. He was small last year, but he had striated glutes last year. So like I said, if he, when, shows when you get... that, if he, if he shows an improvement in conditioning with the 20 pounds, where the right. 20 pounds are visible, if we can mm. see it, like, oh shit, there it is right there. There's the 20 pounds. He's right in there, man. Mm. I think he's improving. Um, also getting better with the poses that he's choosing. Hundred percent, yes. Hundred uh, percent. Unique poses that not 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 the not the way it's been done before. But I think he he understands he has long arms, he has long legs, yeah. and it might take a different type of pose that we're not. I'd like to see you work with him, Chris, with your pose with his posing. I'd like to see you get a hold of him for a couple days. But I have a, I've asked if they wanted my help. They didn't want my help. So oh, I'm, okay. I'm out of the equation. I hated his front <laughs> double bicep last year, man. That little twisting Victor Martinez. No, nah, yeah, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. No, nah, you Big can't Paul, take... A guy like that needs to stand straight. Like if Dennis Wolf. Pose like Dennis Wolf. Victor guy. He never goes to the ground, right? Lee Haney always said, don't go to the ground if you're yeah. big. And Victor got shorter arms. Uh, he has yes. longer arms. That's a total different... Uh, physique you're trying to do that same type of pose with, yeah, it yeah. doesn't really work, right? Uh, call, call, like let me bring you. What would you like to see him doing on stage? That's his, that's that's arm? that's the question because again, we're still talking about somebody that's still fairly new in terms would, of the bodybuilding equation. Putting on 20 pounds, you saw what he just bring to the, brought to the Texas Pro. You could very well make an argument that in his two Olympias that he's never brought his best, and that if that he if he brings something even close to what we just saw in the Texas Pro. Where does that place him in that equation off the barriers? I want to know history. what Chris would like to see him do posing wise on stage. Yes. Sure. Well, I mean, it's not a whole lot of big winding. You don't have to take up so much space <laughs> with long arms, you know? That's that's one thing I wouldn't be doing. And I wouldn't 
You don't need to do a crucifixion. Or it's just like, don't like, and, and then I know he likes to do the, the splits and all that stuff. Yeah. But I would just like to keep myself as compact as possible if I had that, a lengthy body like that to work with. And then everything's going to have to matter. Everything from the fingers all the way up through the body, through all the way to the toes, everything's got to be exactly right. Uh, mm. And, and you know, like I said, I tried to, to lend my uh, opinion or, hey, I could stop by and I just want to take a look at some of the stuff. But you right. know, like I said, they, they was opposed to it. So... I was just like, okay. I'm, I'm you think out. they were posted because they didn't want you to see what he looked like, or do you think they were posted because they didn't want your 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 feedback? No, I mean, I didn't care what he looked like. I I didn't have anything body going against him, or ooh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take a picture of some shit, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like when George would go check out the competitors, right? Let me. <laughs> yeah. <show you. laughs> yeah, I was just trying I'm to be helpful, that Dave. That's all. I was trying to help, and I was gonna use my own. Gas to go up and try to see, and hey, I'm gonna be in LA anyway, but right, 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 interesting, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, that's kind of weird that they didn't, uh, they didn't take you up on your advice. It's all right, <laughs> <laughs> let's bring Carlo in. This Carlo, let's get a thought from you, Andrew Jack. What we just saw at the Texas Pro, what we've seen out of him in his previous Olympia appearances, and what you would like to see. You know, again, given the added size, given the extra refinements, and again, he's been now in California for the better part of the last, I think, already two weeks. So already putting in that additional work with uh, Chris Cycle Lewis. Yeah, I think the two guys before me kind of nailed it. You know, Chris said about his posing, and I agree on all that. And with King, you know, can Chris show us the 20 pounds that he put on and can we make sure his glutes are striated? If I had a nickname, Andrew Jack, I'd give him the nickname the future. There's no question about it. The guy has the best frame for uh, to be the potential uh, long time Mr. Olympia. Right. Um, you know, of course, you know, we can make that same case for Derek, but if he's shorter stature and when Andrew catches up, then, you know, the good man always beats a good a small man, right? We've watched that throughout bodybuilding history. Um, I think that the focus and emphasis for the Andrew Jack team should be coming in as peeled as possible and keeping those muscle bellies full and presenting a, a, a thick, compact physique because the shape and the structure are all there. So just present as much muscularity as you can, because if there's anything that he might be lacking, right? And I say this with some reservations because it's how do you argue with 300 pounds of muscle? Because he's so tall, he just may not look as thick as the other t potential top five candidates, right? Um, and then if I could just go off script for a second and away from your question, Sadiq. Does anybody else have a problem with the way Nick Walker hits his front double bicep when he flexes his obliques and his abs? Because to me, that is a disturbing front double bicep. I prefer it much more when he's not uh, flexing his abdominal region. I just think that he actually looks much better. I understand what he's trying to do in accentuating his conditioning. But I don't think he needs to do that to show his conditioning. Has anybody else noticed that? And what are your opinions if so? What I mean, but what would you suggest if he didn't do that pose? A vacuum? No, no. You, I, you could try a vacuum or just a standard without f crunching down on his abs, Chris. I well, think he, when he crunches down on his abs, he takes away from the shoulder width and the taper. It makes him look, in my opinion, it makes him look a lot blockier when he's flexing his abs. Yeah, I but it makes he, him look freakier. I think uh, – Yeah, I but, think, but he has, I think he has enough freak factor that he doesn't but need that's it. that's all he has. But that's I think problem. I think he needs no, some muscularity. Oh, yeah. I think he needs some muscularity showing in the front double bicep. Maybe just uh, can maybe just mentally and physically get more in tune with your oblique area and keeping that uh, contracted uh, in towards each other. Uh, you don't have to go so hard down the middle, but go hard on the outsides. And that Chris goes. is he trying? Is he, Chris is he doing that to try to bring his torso down because he's got short legs? You think that yeah. that's why he's doing yeah, it? That's yeah. one thing too. Yeah. yeah, you're looking at your proportions and balance. So, uh, but I think, like I like I said, if you can just constrict down the the, the outsides of the body and just keeping that all in check, which you need to do the whole time you're on the stage anyway. Uh, but keeping that in check, and uh, like I said, if you crunch down too hard in the middle, that's going to bring your chest down, 
if you bring your chest down, it's not going to be good when you're trying to do a front to a bicep. Carlo, you got think of a somebody who was used to do that too. Melvin Anthony. Melvin could pop yeah. up a front double bicep and not do anything, look fantastic. But he used to purposely blow it out to give himself that more muscular look. Flex did the same thing. Right. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap yeah. up. So but okay. before we do that, I'm gonna that go around sense. the horn. Yep. I'm gonna go around the horn. Again, we had so much discussion about potential top four, Nick Walker, five or out of the top five. What I want you to give me is your five and six. Carlo, you first. Five and six. Well, I tell you what, um, after talking to you guys, <laughs> I'm moving Andrew <laughs> Jack up to three and Samson four, and I'm putting uh, I'm going to put Nick in five, and I'm going to put Brandon in six. King Kamali. Uh, oh, that's tough, man. Nick. And I know Dave said don't do it, but I'll do it. Behrus, if he gets his fucking visa. All right, so then well, King Kamali, who do you have? What's the contingency if he does it here? <laughs> right, so then, King, who do you have five, six, and seven? <laughs> Raphael, Brando, even though oh, I've wow. always said he's not big enough, he's he, he'll slide in there with his shade. You think Brandale beats Fitzwater? Yes. I like Martin. I think he's. I think Martin is one of those guys who never misses a meal. All, everything is written down. He's one. He's a technical one thousand percent bodybuilding. Bodybuilding. You know that's what he is. But um, there are people out there with better genetics. You know, so genetics is always number one for me. Again, and you also have to put what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Brandon. Brandon is also. It's. It's again. You got to put them standing next to each other, but I would say it would be a toss-up, um, depending. Nick, Brando, Rafael. Yeah, I got Rafael, and I have uh, uh, fifth and sixth. Brando and the fifth. Yeah. Rafael and Labrada. So for fifth and sixth, Brando fifth, fifth and Labrada sixth. Yeah. So who are you leaving out of the top four? No, no. Oh, yeah. No, uh, top four, he's... No, he's not, leaving I someone out. That. What's your top four? Oh, we're going there already. Here we go. Oh, I <laughs> thought... <sorry. laughs> no, we're just doing five well, and six. I, I, I mean, I, was, I wasn't really leaving four. someone out. I was just telling you who I think could yeah, be Yeah, that's what I was going to say, right. <laughs> All right, well, who's top four? Who's your top four? Oh, he's already... Uh, <sighs> I tell you, I've been, I've been going, I've been going, Nick three. I've been going, uh, Derek winning. I got Hottie second. I got four. Right. Uh, shit. Then you have Samson in seventh. Uh, yeah, where, where do you have Samson and Andrew? <laughs> How can you have Brand Day? Okay, yeah, okay, okay. So I've been going. I've been thinking <laughs> Samson's gonna be fourth, fifth. Yeah. Fifth, uh, okay, so let me back it up then. Uh, yeah, I, I jammed too many cars in that motherfucking garage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, let's just let's just simplify it because again, the whole conversation was like, we're assuming we're, 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 op we're, we're operating <laughs> under the assumption that your top four is going to include in no particular it's not, order. It's Derek not Hunt. though. Let him give his top six. Give give you top six. Okay, your and top then, six. Here you go. <laughs> and then you got uh, Andrew Jacks. What place is Andrew, according fifth, to you? Fifth. All right. All right. Okay. He knocked Brandeo out of fifth now. Yeah. All right. Okay, Who's next? Who's sixth? Hmm. Uh, Rafael. Uh, so so you really don't have Brandon. No, so you can't really Brandon have Brandeo. I took Brandon out. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Dave, you're five and six. I'm going younger. All right, I'm going to go one through six because otherwise I'm confused. Oh, so right I got right. Eric, <laughs> Andrew, uh, Samson, um, Nick, Brandon, Martin. Seven. Martin, I was going to say Martin, you probably then have at the seventh position. Yeah. All right, very cool. Uh, we are going to hope for a miracle that Behrouz is somebody somehow going to get his uh, administrative hold released. Well, and then he's somehow said, he's said, 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 secret agent wait, 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 wait one second. Wait one out. second, Sid. Palumbo, you're telling me that Martin Fritzwater can be Bonac? I think so, yeah. Okay. 
We might. Mark, you, King, you and I, you and I, I might Nick have Walker is my estimation in New York. King, we might King, have some you, side bets going there, Mr. Palumbo. All right. So we'll see. King, right, we're, 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 one New York. Okay, we'll see. Wait, King, <laughs> were you at the New York? <laughs> King, were you at the New York Pro? Or? No, no. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I, I was. David I had, I had Martin on that show too. Okay, thank you. I, I well, but, okay, again, we're not. The, the whole discussion is okay. Where do you now see Martin play? Again, that's a totally different topic Seven. altogether. But I agree with you. Yeah. 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 All right. So you know I, what? I think it's going to be Hunter and uh, Hunter and Martin for seven. Yeah. We're going to do this again next week. We're, we're going to bring up a fresh set of topics. We're going to do this all over again next week. We're going to have this riding all the way over the course of the next couple of weeks into the Olympia, into Olympia weekend. So, again, if you haven't already done so, go on our Instagram right now, official underscore RX muscle. Prove that you have the best knowledge of predictions when it comes to bodybuilding. You can predict that 1 through 15 for the men's open, 1 through 5 for classic physique. All the division winners, top prize will be a cash prize. We're determining the final amount, but it's going to be worth your while. Second place, third place, everyone's going to get Free supplements from Species Nutrition as well as free chicken of your flavor from the Chicken Pound on our Instagram right now. If you haven't already done so, subscribe below. Hit the notification bell. You're not going to miss anything that we have between now, between next week, and, of course, on Olympia weekend. Big, big, big shout out. Let's get me off the screen. Big shout out. King <laughs> Kamali, Carlo Filipponi, Chris Cormier, and, of course, Dave Palumbo. Thank you for watching. We'll do it again next week.